In this episode of Marina Queen, I reform some rusty engine parts, and I start the rebuild of the internals of that Yanmar raw water pump. Also, Frog's Leap gets a new and very special blanket. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. All right, try it out with the rust reformer. Reform the Reform rust. The rust. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we were reforming some rust for sure. Take a look at this. This is the pulley. Not bad, right? Not bad. The back obviously still needs to get hit. And here is the bracket, pretty darn good. And the back still needs to get done. You gotta give 24 hours for this primer to cure. Trust me, it was tempting yesterday to go, nah, it looks pretty dry. I'll hit the other side. I didn't do it. You know, this is going in a marine environment. No. Now it's 24 hours. Now I'm going to hit the other side. Let's do it. Okay, well now we've got the rust reformer drying out and back. So we're gonna start by rebuilding the internals of the pump. The key to putting this shaft together is this groove right here. This is an external circlip, it's 15 millimeters, and it goes inside this groove right here. And what is super cool about that is you don't have to guess any weird offsets. Like I, I, sometimes you'll see, like when I was learning how to do this, I was watching some people rebuild their pumps on YouTube. They would do this weird measuring thing. Of course, what they're trying to do is they're trying to properly locate those bearings inside that housing by getting the offset right. But here's the thing, there's no offset on this Yanmar pump because you've got this circlip right here. And essentially what you do is you press a bearing on one side of the circlip and you press a bearing on the other side of the circlip. And when you press this into the housing, the housing itself will only let the bearings go so far. The bearings get properly located every single time they get put into the housing. And the whole thing is built around this little 15 millimeter circlip. We're gonna do that right now, right now. So we're gonna start by putting this circlip on the shaft. All right, I got it in there like this. I'm just gonna slide it on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride a bearing on either side of this. So these are axis bearings. These are sealed bearings, but they're not sealed with metal. They're sealed with like a rubbery plastic. So I'm gonna use this bearing puller to ride one of these up this way, up against the circlip and the other one this way. If I press them both against it, it holds them in exactly the right position. So now I think I have it. I should be able to press that bearing on. does a good job too of coming through 
evenly. And you can kind of see I've got that thing pretty symmetrical. And I think it just naturally lines up that way because you're coming in right here on a point in the shaft. There's a little hole on each, just like this hole, on, on each side of the shaft, specifically designed, I think, for a bearing puller like this. This thing has a, like a point at the end of it. I'm keeping my eye on that circlip. I think I can come a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and call that bearing good. We're going to do exactly the same thing with this bearing, only we're going to press it on on the other side of the circlip. There we go. Look at that. That looks about right. Okay, just keep it tight there. I think that'll press on right there. So we press those bearings on. We've got them now. Yeah, they're smooth. Nice. You know they're exactly in the right position. <laughs> All right. Well, it's 24 hours later, and I've got both parts, both sides. All right. So next we're going to put some silver on. I don't know how this is going to look. What I want to start doing with the engine is to make things obvious, obvious, like the things that are slightly a different color are things that I've taken apart and I've worked on. So I kind of like that. It provides some record. So my daughter graduated from the Air Force Academy a couple weeks ago, and she gave me this flag. She gave it to me, I don't know, maybe sophomore year. I've had it up here ever since. It's still got the original folds and stuff in it. It's just cool. So I decided to use it today as the backdrop for this all hands aft. And this is where all the YouTube magic happens, right? This is my, my Mac that I use, and this is the table that I'm sitting on. So behind the scene. Look at this, it's a quilt. I mean, it's a quilt. It's heavy. I mean, you could really sleep under it. I mean, it's totally, it's heavy. It's military grade. It's got this cool piping. Like it's almost made out of a webbing material on the edge. Air Force Academy colors. I'm gonna keep it on Frog's Leap. You know, I think this is something like when the temperature starts dropping, well, you can feel the, how substantial that is. It's gonna be great. This was given to me by my daughter as a gift. It's gonna go on Frog's Leap. Yeah, so, thank you. Well, I just got done painting out there, and as you can see, there was a little bit of breeze. You could hear it in the microphone. You could see some of the paint getting pushed by the wind. So I probably shouldn't have been painting out there, but it went okay. I got enough color on there. I have to say, I'm really surprised by this stuff. There's a lot of color that comes out. It was covering black pieces, and you couldn't see the black when it was done. And I also like the shade of the silver. I think it's pretty close to the Yanmar Gray. So. I think I'm going to really like this stuff. I think it's going to work out great, 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 great. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as pink as you confused I am.